Hi there, this is Solitary Ronin from Solitary Ronin Films and welcome to another random review. And this random review is 2007's Garage by Lenny Abrahamson who directed Frank, which I did a random review of quite recently, which I also loved. But I really just wanted to have a chat about this film because it reminded me of a lo-fi Bresson film. I think Bresson would actually quite like it. Now don't get me wrong, this is not to the standard of a Bresson film, but it has the same kind of spare feeling in the central character, Josie, who works at a garage, who's a bit mentally slow. He has, he kind of exists in his own little world and it's the universe that kind of brings up events that cause his world to change. So he's very much like Balthazar the donkey in Ohazard Balthazar or the pickpocket in Pickpocket or Mouchette in Mouchette. In the way Abrahamson directs the film, he kind of keeps a distance to the events. And it really struck me on one level because I'm like an outcast and an outsider myself, because I'm the solitary Ronan, um, I did kind of relate to Josie. I think it's one of those films that actually you could do a test of whether you're a psychopath or not, depending on how you feel at the end of the film. If you have no feelings whatsoever at the end of the film, then you're probably a psychopath. Very much like a Bresson film, it's a very simple story. Josie works at a garage and he's perhaps a little bit exploited as far as pay by the owner of the garage. It's set in a small Irish town, even though it's probably a village, to be honest. And he, uh, he his only kind of connection with the community is when they come in and get petrol, which isn't that often. He has a quote-unquote friend who's a long te a long distance lorry driver who comes in like once a month or whatever and tells Josie all these stories of all the women and prostitutes he's bedded in Belgium and Europe and it's pretty much you know what the wife doesn't know won't hurt her and then you have He's quite friendly with a horse, he feeds the horse apples. But again, you find that all the people that he deals with pretty much want something from him. None of them are, actual gen are actually genuine friends, including the horse, because the horse just wants apples, the swine. Um, he perhaps imagines a relationship with the shopkeeper who's a single mother I think but obviously he gets rejected in a fairly embarrassing fashion he goes to the local pub probably the only pub in the town or the village and he pretty much gets ridiculed and there's a really nasty guy who just takes the piss out of him but again he just kind of laughs it off again the filmmaker 
isn't laughing at Josie. And we shouldn't be laughing at Josie. Um, and again, if you do, you're probably a psychopath. And we follow him on this simple story. He gets an apprentice to train. Who's not that talkative, doesn't really like him. But then when Josie gives him alcohol, he and his friends who have previously... Um, again, taking the mickey out of Josie. Um, now want him to be around because he's given them booze that they don't have to buy themselves. So again, it's people just using him. But again, he just sees it as they like him. But they obviously don't. And then... On one of the drop-offs with the truck driver, the truck driver gives them some porn, you know, to watch, which he kind of does, but it's all kind of awkward. But then just for a laugh, he shows The Apprentice the porn tape. And then the police get involved because his apprentice is like 15 and he's been a, he's been plying him and his friends with alcohol and showing him explicit material. I'm perhaps going to go into slight spoilers, but you can kind of tell where this is going because it's also a film about what happens when you are only your job and your job defines you and then once you lose that job what do you actually have left what does that make you as a human being so i would say it's it's a lovely little film it's quite depressing it's quite grim and again for me it really struck that it is quite brissonian not without being a little too pompous. Um, it really reminded me of a Bresson, especially the way the ending is shot and how events are shot without, you know, fanfare or without it being explicit. So I would urge you to see it. If you're a fan of Bresson, it's worth a look at a kind of lo fi press on film if you liked Frank and again I've kind of went back and bought all of Abrahamson's early work just to have a look at it um, but Garage is the only one I've watched so far and I just think it's worth um, a look Pat Short who plays Josie is very good but I'm just going to go into spoilers now so if you haven't seen the film your best to stop the video and go pick it up again. This DVD I picked up really cheaply. And surprisingly just for a kind of cheap DVD. It does actually have a commentary. With Lenny Abrahamson and the writer Mark O'Hallahan. Which is easy enough for me to say. And it's got a trailer, a stills gallery. And it's actually got the original sh shooting script as well. So for a kind of bare bones DVD release. It's actually well worth picking up. So, if you haven't seen the film, I would stop the video now and go pick it up on cheap DVD and give it a watch and let me know in the comments below what you think. Right, so that's spoilers now. So, once Josie loses his job, he has nothing left. And again, the way him being fired is shot is very understated. And if you're not paying attention, you might not actually realise what's going on. Because his boss just comes to his little flat. And they have kind of a cup of tea. And then it's just left. But it's fairly obvious that he's been fired. You don't need to say, Josie, you're fired. It doesn't. It's really understated, but you know what's happened. 
So we kind of see Jose in a state of distress next to a river. And he's always wearing a baseball cap. And he takes his baseball cap off with his shoes and sits them on the grass. And he backs himself into the river. And you pretty much know he's he's drowned. But again, just the way it's shot, it's very spare in the fact that he backs into the river. He doesn't like jump in. He doesn't even walk in forwards. He backs into the river. But you know he's he's killed himself because he's got nothing to live for now that he's lost his job and the shame that he feels and then it just has a beautiful last shot from a long shot of the horse that he fed apples to in that heartbreaking scene near the end where usually the horse comes to him for apples but once he's been disgraced even the horse doesn't want to know him and that's kind of the final kind of straw for him and then it's just a long shot of the horse walking towards the camera and then the film just ends and it just struck me that it's just so beautifully Robert Bresson again I might be completely wrong but that was just the feeling that I got from the film and I felt the film it's not a great film by any stretch of the imagination but I think it's worth your time and hopefully you should have an emotional response to it. Um, yeah, so thanks very much for joining for this random review of The Garage by Lane Abrahamson. That's two Abrahamson films that I've watched and two random reviews. Go figure. So leave comments below if you've seen the film before and what you thought of it. And hopefully you'll join me for more random reviews. This is Solitary Run from Solitary Run Films. Saying farewell.